power of his resurrection, the cost of obtaining this. We hear from Jesus that he would be rejected of men, then be crucified, buried, yet would rise again. Peter, not hearing a word, he said, says to him, here it is from the King James Version, Not so, Lord. And Jesus has to say to him, Get behind me, Satan. Now here is a deeper greet running of Peter's comment. And Peter said to him, Pity yourself. In other words, feel sorry for yourself. This pity trip is something we all can get on for not getting the attention or recognition we all desire. Realize this. It is also written from Paul the Apostle. He wanted to know him and the power of his resurrection. So that's what this is all about. Too. He wanted to know him and the power of his resurrection. What's the cost of obtaining this? To know him and the power of his resurrection. Here's the answer. But you don't get the power of his resurrection until you first get crucified and get the rejection of sinful men. You will feel isolated, made to feel alone, not understood, hated by them, crucified. Maybe not physically, but they excommunicate you, don't talk to you anymore, and ignore you. In conversation, they talk over your comments. But if you don't show up to their gathering because of their, this their ignorance, if they ignore you, so they don't want to go back. They judge you even for that. So damned if you show up and damned if you don't. You don't realize what's happening. You have wanted to know him and his power of his resurrection. Okay? This is how you get it. You'll be rejected of sinful men. Now this might be close family members. Neighbors, co-workers, men of the world, men of religion. You reject the men. They cut you off, mock you, laugh at you, crucify you. Then later in life, because they know you, you heir to their flesh, they want nothing to do with you. It's like they bury you in their minds and thinking. They roll stone over it your opinions and ideas of you, and you're dead and buried. It takes an act of God to deliver you from that grave. Yet you get to know the power of his resurrection. So ask yourself, do you want this power? Do you know the cost? I can say, speaking only from my own experience, it is worth it. This identifying with him is his death burial because the power of his resurrection is promised and received I've lived to see this happen apart from this power I would not be sending out emails or publishing videos on YouTube I would have gone on a pity trip feeling that I was the only one feeling the rejection I feel well you discover somewhere on this straight and narrow road that someone else walked this road before you you now walk in his footsteps, rejoicing in tribulations, persevering, gaining experience of the power of his resurrection, no longer feeling ashamed for what you believe, seeing as real hope, a hope that the world cannot offer. Thus the love of God is shed abroad through you, loving even those that hate you, saying with the Son of Man, Father, forgive them, but they don't know what they're doing. This has been Romans 5 expressed in living words. For the skeptic that would, would ask, where is this in the Bible? Go read Romans chapter 5. And you will see what I've just said. It's exactly what Paul was talking about. God bless you.